Hello, Pete from OnLogic here again with another product video for you. And today I'm really excited to show you the brand new all-in-one modular panel PC, the new Tacton TC401. There are a lot of really exciting ways that you can customize this system. So for the purposes of today's overview, we're gonna keep things really high level, but for a full list of all your configuration options, your product manual and other technical documentation, please check out our website onlogic.com. Intro's out of the way, let's take a deeper look at this absolute workhorse of an industrial platform perfectly suited to help you design for the IoT Edge. The Tacton TC401 leverages the power efficient and highly capable Alder Lake N series of processors from Intel. The system supports four different CPU choices, including three quad core options, the N97, the N200, and an Atom X7425E, which supports time coordinated computing or TCC and time sensitive networking, TSN as well as the higher performance 8-core i3 N305 for applications that require a little bit more computational power. At the time of launch, this rugged system will be available in three screen sizes, 12.1, 15.6, and 21.5 inches. Each size can be further customized with choices of projected capacitive, also called PCAP, or resistive touch functions, and brightness levels for indoor use or outdoor use, including in direct sunlight environments. The optical bonding and wet tracking features of the PCAP screens further enhance the user experience when placed in areas where excessive glare or wet hands might be a concern. Aside from these core features, we also have a couple of integrated peripherals, including a proximity sensor, so this screen can wake up when you're standing in front of it, and an optional camera and microphone. The design is modular, which means the same compute module is interchangeable between all the screen sizes. In addition, we have made a screen-only version, our TN101, just in case you need to extend the display of your TC401, or if you're looking for a high quality rugged display to pair with one of our other standalone computers. The TC401 supports two displays natively through the DisplayPort 1.4 on the bottom, as well as the main display unit, or with the use of an MST hub and that full-size DisplayPort 1.4, you can run up to three independent displays on this machine. Looking at the rest of the IO, from left to right on the bottom of the compute module, we have an optional COM port, which supports RS-232, 422, and 485, your RTC reset switch, your power button, three and a half millimeter aux jack for audio and mic, your terminal block 8-bit DIO and remote power switch, two two and a half gigabit LAN with independent LAN controllers, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, and here's that display port 1.4 I mentioned earlier for adding additional displays. Looping back the other way, under your DB9 COM connector, we have a modular power board with options for a four pin terminal block industrial power board with an input range of 12 to 24 volts or our five pin terminal block rugged power board supporting an input range of 12 to 48 volts, including an ignition control pin for integrating this into your vehicle power distribution circuit. Both power boards options have two USB 2.0 ports included in the mechanical kit. Right next to your input power and the USB 2.0s is our proprietary mod bay expansion slot, which allows you to choose from a variety of mod bay cards, including additional RJ45 or M12 LAN, USB 3 or RS-232 ports, depending on the needs of your particular project. Moving around the rest of the chassis, we have two brandable plates with one more located on the front bezel and three LEDs showing your power mode, drive activity and status LED. Across the top of the chassis are seven SMA antenna punch outs supporting numerous methods of wireless communication and location, such as LTE, Wi-Fi, and GPS. Now let's crack this open and take a look at what we've got going on inside the chassis. As with the vast majority of our systems, the CPU is on the underside of the motherboard to allow an easier thermal connection to the chassis heatsink while maintaining serviceability to the rest of the internal components like RAM or storage. Starting on the top left, we've got our onboard RAM slot, which supports single channel DDR5 4800 MHz SODIMM modules up to 16 gigs and includes support for in-band ECC. Then here we've got our primary storage M.2 M key for 2280 form factor cards, which includes support for both PCIe Gen 4 or Gen 3 NVMe drives. Um, underneath this, we actually have our micro SIM card slot, which is connected to the M.2 B key for support of LTE modules. Here you've got your M.2 E key for Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the slot for the M.2 B key, which actually supports a variety of M.2 form factors for flexible expansion options, including LTE cards or a secondary storage drive. This is the docking connector for connecting the screen. We've got our mod bay for additional IO expansion your CMOS battery, and right here we've got our COM2 header. Across the bottom of the board, we've got our power button, audio jack, DIO, LAN, USB 3.2, display port, and here's your COM1 port. 
Uh, and this over here, this is the power board header for different power options, either 12 to 24 volts or the wider uh, 12 to 48 volt connections. The internal layout of the board was thoughtfully designed with optimal spacing and subcomponent selection to maximize system performance in wide temperature and wide power environments. So that covers the core features and functionalities of the new Tacton TC401. In part two of this video, we're actually looking at mounting and installing this solution, which is something we thought a lot about when originally designing it. So be sure to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you have any questions about Tacton or any of our other industrial computing solutions, please reach out to a member of our team at onlogic.com. If you'd like to see more video content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.